Richland construction is underway to repurpose the Columbia Place Mall into Richland County government buildings. That new complex will be housed in the former Burlington Coat Factory. News 19's Becky Budge takes a look at how the mall is now evolving. If you've driven by the Columbia Place Mall lately, it's hard to miss the massive construction project. This time next year, the former site of the Burlington Coat Factory will house the county's 911 call center in the State Department of Probation and Parole. This mall was hot and jumping. <laughs> Resident Dorothy Bright is excited to see a reimagining of a mall that at one point had a bleak future. Well, what they're trying to do now to upgrade and bring back the people, I think it's going to be a great, tremendous effort uh, for this mall. But Two weeks ago, Stephanie Jamison opened Two Sisters Beauty Supply in the old Victoria's Secret. Um, yeah, so it gets busier on the weekends, Thursday through about Saturday. It's very busy. According to the mall's property management company, sales are continuously increasing by 15%. Jamison says shoe stores, puppy shops, small businesses, and newer options in the food court are bringing more shoppers to the mall. Um, steady traffic. Um, people are st coming back into the mall. They're like, we didn't know anyone was here. We thought it was deserted. Um, and they're finding other stores in the mall. So it's Richland County is also moving the Department of Juvenile Justice and the voter registration offices to the mall. The county also plans to build a new DSS office at the mall in the old Dillard store. Just with Richland County coming in, we're looking at employees coming in, more business, more traffic. Um, so yeah, it could be a new wave. Reporting in Columbia, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. Well, the Columbia Mall saw one of its major anchor stores, Sears, shut down in June of 2017. It was the last remaining Sears store in Columbia. In January of 2018, Burlington announced that they'd be closing their doors at the mall as well. Later that year, Richland County started the discussions of moving into the empty, bigger stores at the mall and using that space for offices. Mm -hmm. 